Okay, it's um, a little noisy in here because right behind me I've got an air conditioner running plus I've got all the evacuation system and the fans going for the laser as well so um, it's like 32 degrees outside and it's 35 degrees in here so what I need to do now I, I set this up nice and square on my honeycomb bed this is the eighth inch ply and And I'm going to get my Z height automatic setting tool, which I would, if you're, if you're buying a laser, I would, I would get that. That means the, the Z or the table is motorized or computerized and uh, it will position the work underneath the laser head or the nozzle um, exactly perfectly right and not only that it's, it's very handy to, to be able to drive the table down and up and I'll sort of put different size materials in so anyway the way it operates is on the back of the nozzle there is a proximity sensor and it's a piece of steel plate that's like rubber coated so you just pop on here like this and you drive the head over it and um, ask it to self-level and off it goes uh, and it looks something like this now you can you can either use the computer or you can use the the key panel I use a combination of the two actually Okay, now I'm going to drive the table down a little bit. Uh, this is another handy little thing to have, and that is the, this is a, a separate little laser, it's a pointer laser. And it will, it is set for, for when the nozzle is sort of in an area and it's set at the correct uh, distance away or should we say the focus that dot is right underneath where the laser is going to hit and it's very handy to have you know I, I advise anybody having an update on that too so here we go I'm going to set it on automatic So I'm going to set it on automatic focus now, or Z height. And that's just one button. And the laser does it fully automatic. There you go. Now you'll notice that the, point, the laser pointer, I'll bring you in a bit closer. Okay, you can probably see that a bit better now. So if I take this away, you'll notice that the the laser pointer in relation to the center of the nozzle is slightly off when you take this away right underneath perfect okay so now I'm gonna go and position the laser nozzle and set the start of the program which is the top left hand corner okay so let's drive it over the back corner Okay, I like to leave about half an inch on the outside edge, it just keeps it that much stiffer. So uh, I'm just going to zero that as the start of our program. And uh, I, I actually earlier I, I said top left, it's actually top right hand corner. Um, okay, so well, that's now logged as a start of our program and I'm just going to do a test and uh, should have a 300 millimeter square there so test oh 
Okay, so we should cut the center part out, the design, and then uh, it'll cut the whole thing out. So here we go, let's start, and we should be away. So here we go for the second half, which is the, the back part of this uh, picture. Uh, so we'll relocate now the head and make a new Z position, a, a new datum position. Okay, that should be fine there. So we've reset the origin there now, and uh, we'll press test to see if it is going to go where we think it's going to go. Absolutely. So the first thing we're going to do, we're, we're going to actually engrave this. Now it'll be interesting to see how it comes out with the, the different patterns of the, um, of the grain there. So here we go.
and that I don't know whether the, I've got very good light there picking it up but uh, I'll zoom in in a minute on it so I'll put it here but that is a cutout stencil or if you'd like to call it that uh, of an Australian bush scene with a couple of kangaroos and a nice tree and then laid behind it is an etching of again Australian scene with a, a typical Australian windmill and a water tank and fencing and what have you behind it so it's a typical outback country scene in Australia which is, is quite effective and of course this 100 watt laser will turn these out probably about six an hour something like that so you know you well and truly could could earn $150 an hour you know you're not you're not going to sell a hundred of these at a time but you would make a batch of between 20, 20 and 50 at a time and you would have them on hand for sale and you would have several different designs 20, 30, 40 different designs and you would alternatively make stock of this type of thing and many other things that I will show you in the months to come and I will stress that my laser is an industrial laser it is not uh, should we say an eBay laser um, I have gone into uh, quite detail in my earlier videos of uh, what to look out for and that um, how they are sold on eBay and you don't get what you pay for so uh, you know you, you it's a it's a minefield out there and you've got to be very careful this machine is very highly specced with uh, you know a hundred watt a genuine hundred watt laser its actual peak output is nearly 120 watts and um, and I do go into great detail in earlier videos of uh, that you can't run any laser at its peak output. Uh, so the uh, normal output, high output of this laser is a genuine 100 watts. And in the months to come I will give you tips and um, shall we say things to look out for if you are considering buying your own laser. So. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, videos today with uh, Cavco and uh, two different methods of, uh, of using a lather as in cut out uh, a piece of material or even etching or engraving um, and in the months to come as I say I'll be showing you much more uh, what you can do with a, a laser and indeed a CNC router as well. So uh, thank you for joining me and uh, I hope you pop in again and see me sometime so it's bye for now.